Hello there, and welcome back to Children of Morta. Today we are going to continue our journey through the Silk Caverns, I believe. Uh, or Keldipo Caves. However that's pronounced. Okay, last time we played with Linda, I believe. Uh, so maybe let's try John this time. Okay, and here we go. Let's see how well we can do with the with melee attacks. It does have some AoE, so that's that's nice. With the bow. While it does give you the range advantage... Oh, hello there! While the bow gives you the range advantage, it doesn't really have any AoE or very little of it. It's, it's not great when we were basically overrun but by a lot of enemies. Hmm. But I don't really see the damage upgrade. It's still like between 11 and 13 damage. I think we were supposed to have like... 16 average damage now. Yeah, here it's 11.6. Maybe the 16 was for um, for Linda. I'm not sure that's odd. Steps were taken without regret, for it was never possible to change a destiny unknown. Okay, looks like that was a trap. So is that it? I guess we failed that. I don't know if there was some kind of clue on which one we should have stepped. They all look the same, really. Or maybe it's just random, whether you get something or not. I guess we did get some experience, so there's that. This sounds like a nice upgrade. My enemy will take damage when they hit our shield. I like that idea. And yeah, like I was saying in the first video, I wonder if there are some secrets, like this looks like some kind of pathway maybe, but I can't really go anywhere there. Okay. I guess this reflects 50% of the damage that is blocked. Or is it 50% of the damage that we deal? Hard to say, really. Oh, 
Because I wonder if our skills also scale with damage or if those upgrades are only for the weapon. I guess this cannot be destroyed, so it will forever pull us. Those spike traps are really hard to see. And they are what killed us the last time. Whoa. In <clears throat> they were what directly killed us, but really it was my bad decision making and pulling like several rooms for worth of enemies that that really killed us. But so well, we live and learn. I'm guessing that he is going to be a very defensive character with the torn soul and the shield. I do like that idea. Tanky characters are usually nice in roguelites. I guess he's pretty much like the shaman, the fallen shaman in Diablo that keeps resurrecting or summoning new enemies. I suppose we should be really focusing, focusing him in the first place. We don't have a gemstone. I wonder if those uh, drop somewhere nearby the chest or if it is it just a completely random drop. Because it looks like we ran out of enemies in here and we didn't really get a gemstone. Okay, so this is the last room. What do we have here? Increased primary attack damage. Very nice. By how much, I wonder? It doesn't really tell us. But let's keep exploring. Maybe we will find some other relics. Mm. Or... Actually, it looks like we explored everything. Okay, so we didn't really get an, uh, a gemstone for this chest. That's a bit odd, I suppose, because we are leaving that level now and the chest is left unopened. <clears throat> I wonder if those gemstones... Uh, carry over from run to run because that would explain the halls of Anea Dyer so mesmerizing in their magnificence were to be found at the end of a long road and a hero never knows what is waiting them at the end of a road moving is more important than reaching No, I thought that Linda would be joining us for this uh, for this level, but I guess not.
doesn't seem to be reflecting ranged attacks, so which I suppose makes sense. Still, it would be nice if it did, but maybe it would be a bit too overpowered if he could kill our enemies from the distance. an extra gold doesn't really give you much I wonder if it scales uh, how well it scales with kills if you kill 20 enemies will I get plus 10 gold or will it be like 30 40 maybe more Damage of your primary attacks increase with the number of gemstones you possess. Oh, that's interesting. So instead of opening the chests, we can stack our gemstones, which again leads me to the question of whether those carry over, because that could be an interesting mechanic. There's a, a hidden potion there. So I wonder if we can hit multiple enemies with a single with a single sword sword wall fall or whatever it's called. No. Apparently you have a shorter range that I imagined. You could really could use some uh, healing right now. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like we indeed can hit multiple enemies with that skill. So I'm going to die in a moment. inside okay here's a gemstone doesn't look like it increases the damage all that much I suppose you probably need like 10 of them to really feel the difference
Okay, I kind of <laughs> blew ourselves up with that flower. I don't know if I should open those chests. Maybe we could get some uh, some nice loot from them. Maybe some healing. Okay, here's another another level up. So what do we have here? We have two skill points. I think maybe with the Heaven Strike it does add another 50% to the damage. It would be nice to be able to one-shot enemies. So I think we are going to grab just that. Okay, and we unlocked another uh, tier of skills. And family traits. Oh, okay, so this is a trait that we unlocked and it benefits all of the family members. Uh, so what does this do? Increase the max health of all family members. That's nice. And then they will get Heaven Strikes, Strike runes for their various abilities. And John will appear to block little damage. Okay, that is nice. Increase armor. And there's some kind of rage mechanic. Okay. So the Heavens Fall does a bit more damage now. I did one shot that skeleton, so that's nice. Come on, I was in a dodge there. To get better at dodging attacks. Okay, so here's, I guess, the boss. It would be nice if you could heal before we go there. I'm curious what is this and how do I unlock it? Maybe I need to have to complete some kind of quest before uh, we'll gain access to those fountains, I guess. Maybe this is a healing fountain. That would be nice. Oh, there's some gold here. Yes, please. Here's another gemstone to use, so we have four of them. Uh, let's see how much damage we actually do now. Mm. This looks dangerous. Not all in the caves were refugees. Some were just traveling merchants stuck in a bind. It looks like this is some kind of arena. And yeah, it looks like we get ten gold for every ki for every ten kills. Which is not great. Maybe a strange looking shopkeep dusted off his clothes. 
tipped his hat. He invited them to stop by his shop later, promising something for all adventuring needs. Okay. Oh, okay, so we unlock the shop basically, and he will randomly appear in the dungeon. Shoot bolts in random directions. Okay, so this is the active. I guess we can't really buy anything from here right now. So that's the one on the cooldown, I believe, yeah? Yeah, the divine relics and the charms are the consumable ones. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. You have a good duration. I wonder how much damage it does, though. 45 seconds cooldown, I think it was. It's not, not that bad. Um, maybe let's open one of those. I don't think those really add much damage. Maybe like one damage per, per gemstone. Maybe we'll get some some nice charms. Corpses have less chance to get corrupted and spawn enemies. Okay. So I suppose those enemies that that spawned somewhere here, they spawn from corpses. Maybe. So does it mean that those can just randomly appear, uh, those enemies, and spawn from corpses? Or is this... Uh, yeah, like... If I just sit here, will enemies start spawning from those corpses, or how does that work? No, oh, those disappeared. So maybe if I, they disappear, there's a chance that uh, those corrupted enemies will spawn? What strange thing could have dragged Grandmother this far? The will of Rhea will flow in those still obelisks. To aid the guardians, this was the only thing Margaret silently whispered. Oh, okay, so I guess this unlocked those obelisks. Okay, so the uh huh, uh, this seems to be like shrines in Diablo, basically. How long does it last, I wonder? Can I stack multiple ones? Because we have like two more of those in here. Or will that replace the current effect? Damage... No, it looks like it's... Uh... It's a limited time uh, for a single one, so I guess we'll take the reducted damage and go for the boss. That seems like a good idea. Okay, some healing. Let's let's All go. Eight eyes studied the one so willing to walk into their own tomb. Right, so a giant spider. That was to be expected, really. I wonder if we can block. Yeah. Oh no, we actually dodged that. 
So I wonder if we can block the damage, the falling damage with our shield. That would make things a lot easier, but no, it looks like we can't. It is really difficult to see where is that spider going to land. To die here. Yeah. And some healing, but we just keep getting hit by the, that fall attack. not the greatest character for this I think simply because his rolling is very limited and there we go yeah I think this fight is going to be really tough with John since he can't block the fall damage and he will have a really long cooldown on the on his uh, dodge roll Kevin's need to help all began when his elder brother Mark left the house. His brother was strong, making any near him feel safe. But he left Kevin. Though Uncle Ben knew what his nephew needed, a focal point for his aspirations. Okay. Uh, whenever Margaret deciphers a tablet, Rar reveals something new to the Bergsons, gives enough resources she will then be able to strengthen the family. Also, I, s I suppose this is um, regarding the obelisks, maybe? The of the world were like open books to the wise, and words from the wise shall benefit man and beast. Okay, we unlocked the Margaret's Book of Knowledge. Uh, she can discover ancient knowledge, dungeons, refills in them, okay. Yeah, so I, I think this basically is about the obelisks, yeah. Oh, and we can actually level those ups as well, so we can increase the duration of the obelisks. That is interesting. I think we are going to... Yeah, because we have the primary damage is 15, but I suppose that depends on the character. Um, we could maybe increase the movement speed, because I can already see that it will be useful for that spider boss. So yeah, let's get... Whoa, that got really expensive really fast. So maybe more damage. More damage is always good, and I don't think we are going to be 
really upgrading that for now since it's really expensive. Okay, so this, this and the workshop are basically connected to each other. Uh, library, we don't really have anything interesting. Hey, it. Oh wait, there's something here. A mother away from her child would cause worry, even in the best of times. This was far from the best of times. It had been more than a year since Mark, Mary's eldest son, had gone to live in the monastery deep in the forest. The same forest is now the source of such worrying news. Okay. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, I suppose Mark will be maybe another character that we unlock. I'm not sure how is that going to work. Whether she will, he will just show up after X amount of runs or do we have to do something in the dungeon? Uh, but uh, yeah, that will be all for today's video, and see you guys later.